Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at objects in JavaScript. Now, uh, if you've been following my JavaScript video or have been learning JavaScript elsewhere, um, uh, I think you'll be aware that JavaScript has uh, variable types such as string, uh, it has a number, it has an array, although I haven't covered array yet, I'll be covering it in my uh, video later on. And there's also functions, and uh, there's like boolean and all those stuff. Okay, now all these are basically an object in JavaScript. Okay, now uh, these are predefined object, and because loads of people uh, use it in their everyday JavaScript coding, and basically you have uh, objects that are being defined already and you can also create your own uh, JavaScript object. Now I think you're uh, confused about what the hell object is and I'm uh, to be honest I was when I first learned JavaScript objects. Now uh, hopefully we're in this video I could explain it to you relatively well so that you'll be able to understand it. Now uh, forget JavaScript and let's imagine you have a car so you have an object called car okay i'm just going to do it within this uh javascript script in my html document but i'm not going to uh do any uh refresh browsing because i'm not going to write any javascript so say you have an object called car like my car oops my car or something so you own a car okay and you own a car and basically that car has a property and uh, you can do something with it okay so uh, your car has properties okay for example you could say your car's uh, color is I don't know red you can have a red car you can have your car type is I don't know I'm not really good with cars I don't know let's say BMW okay you could say your car height is how big is it? It's like I don't know, 150 centimeter. Is that short? That's that's smaller than me. That's smaller than most people. Uh, let's say 150 centimeters. Okay. And uh, last thing you could say your car weight is 1,000 kilograms. I have no idea if that's too heavy or too uh, light. I just said it's a ton. Okay. So this car or this object called my car, which is my car has some properties which you can see and maybe feel if you try lifting it. It has a color of red, it has a type, the car type is BMW, the height of the car is 150 centimeters and the weight of it is 1000 kilograms. Now you can also use it to do something, okay, which in JavaScript we call it methods. Okay, so we could have methods such as uh, move right, okay or move, I don't know, no, not move right, that's weird, uh, I don't know, uh, accelerate, or decelerate, is that, am I decelerate, yep, or stop, it just like break, uh, and you can also have like turn right, and turn left and so on, so you can have all these uh, methods in your car so you can tell it to accelerate you can tell it to decelerate you can tell it to stop which is like pressing the brake you can tell it to turn left turn right you can just tell it to do that indication light or that noisy uh what do you call it uh that noise that makes when you press the middle of your uh wheel handling wheel and there's loads of different things you can do with your car so you have an object called your my car which is your car and you have properties as well as methods that you can use now coming back to JavaScript just like your car you have an object okay I don't know like a string and that string has properties as well as methods same with numbers and functions and arrays they all have they all they're all objects okay and they have properties and they have methods now uh, I'm not going to uh, it's not like if you watch this video you'll understand everything because uh, I haven't gone through the full details of properties and methods yet but in my next video what I'm going to do is 
use a string or I don't know number as an example to actually show you the properties and the methods you can uh, they are built in in JavaScript and once you have the basic understanding of objects with uh, properties and methods from like strings or numbers what you actually can do is create your own object even like an object called my car you can actually do that and you can assign it some properties and you can give it some methods like my car dot accelerates and you it will actually accelerate your car and stuff which is pretty fun okay so hopefully this doesn't didn't confuse you too much and prom I promise you that if you watch my next video or my next next video even maybe three more videos you'll understand objects or the basic understand you have the basic understanding of objects in JavaScript